Whether you're trying to make your indoor or outdoor plants look amazing, Pottery Manufacturing and Distribution Inc. is the place to be. They've been around since 1972, and we're about to find out exactly why and how they've done that. Stick around. Carol, you've been in business since 1972. How have you lasted this long? Enjoyed it. Enjoyed the process, enjoyed the people, and manufacturing what they want, not only what I want. So Ruben, I understand that you're part of the manufacturing process. Uh, do you manufacture all of your products? Yes, we do. From red clay, glazes, we manufacture all of our pots. Our signature line is a process that we started developing 50 years ago, just trying to develop some new product for our customers. The red clay is a very difficult clay body to apply glaze on. So that's a process that we learn how to do, you know, with different techniques. Little by little, we were uh, creating an, a color and another color. There is a process I would love to tell you, but I have to put you in the kiln first. So when you switched over from obviously being known for your animal pottery to more cylindrical and more contemporary pieces, was it a big challenge to switch over? And is, are the processes different? On the pressing process, in one mold, you could do up to 1,500 pieces in a mold, you know, in a couple of days. Cast items, you could only get one piece per mold, you know, per day. I want to pick out a couple of outdoor pots for myself. Let Let's that go out. shopping. What's the difference then between a good pot and a bad pot? Hold this pot on your hand and, and ring it. It's pretty sound, too. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Yes! Blue and yellow together. I don't know, you know, I've got a lot of stuff like in black inside the house. Maybe I'll use this as an indoor piece too for like a small plant. Sure. We'll need a saucer for that. Saucer, okay. Yeah. That's really, really nice. You use those on the bottom of the pot. Well, I got what I need. To get yours, come down to Pottery Manufacturing and Distribution Inc. They'll set you straight, I promise.